Let's see if this works. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay. Hi, everybody. I am so sorry about all this. <laughs> um, well, here we are. <laughs> I'm learning. So I think I have to set the orientation before we start it. Noted. Um, and also, I think something with the monetization of these, like it started playing ads. I don't know, but I think we're good now. So, sorry, we're starting a little bit late. I'm gonna let people find this one. Um, I should probably take that link out of my Instagram page now, but oh well, here we are. We'll work through the kinks. Um, I'm gonna let people find this one again, uh, about half are back in this one. So that means half of you haven't found this one yet. Um, so we're going to give it a second again, apologies. So today we're going to be doing 25 minute dumbbell workout. Um, if you don't have dumbbells, obviously you can still do this. There's lots of other options that you can do that doesn't involve the dumbbells, but our classic 25 minute, 45 on, 15 off, um, and then you get 30 seconds in between. I'm gonna go through a quick warm up today, quick cool down. So even like half of what we normally do just to get our body going, just get our body relaxed so that next time you guys are responsible for warming up on your own, cooling down on your own. And we are going to just do the workout on here. If you guys have the app, warm ups on there, cool downs on there. I recorded more options for warm up and cool down. So those will go on there soon. Um, but just to save time so that we don't have an hour long video on here, we just have the workout on here. Uh, in the future, we're just gonna do a quick, um, quick workout without the warm cool down. You guys are responsible for the warm up cool down. Um, okay, so, okay, now people are finding it. I see people joining now. Um, how much, I have 10 pound dumbbells. So, uh, usually when I do a full body, and I only have one set, it's gonna be between 10 to 15 pounds. If you guys have options of two sets of dumbbells, then that's great. Cause obviously full body is going to combine upper lower. So sometimes you can go heavier with lower body exercises um, and then you go lighter with upper body. So if you have that option, then do that. You obviously wanna make it challenging enough that you're getting to that muscle fatigue. So um, let's get started. Let's do a quick warm up. Like I said, we're just gonna do kind of 10 moves of, of each warm up uh, exercise and then we'll jump right into the workout. Okay, here we go. Let's warm up, shake your body out, take my slippers off. All right, quick warm up. Here we go. Squat, heel raise. We're just going to do 10. Like I said, this is a quick warm up. Deep squat, big heel raise. Oh, my framing needs some work. Guys, can you tell I'm so rusty with this right now? I don't know how many is that. Five, let's do six. Seven. Eight, remember warm up is where you can really stretch out. Nine, one more, 10. All right, hinge. You guys know this one. If you have been working out with me for a while, hinge, open up that chest, 
hinge, open up that chest. Three, four, five. Really stretch out those hammies. Two more. One more. All right, back lunge, rotation. So you back lunge, rotate to the front leg, rotate your head all the way to your hand so you get full spinal rotation. Back lunge, rotate. Five. We're just doing five each side. So this is six, ten total. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. All right. Feet apart. Lateral lunge. Reach. Lateral lunge. Big reach. Switch to the other side. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, one more. Ten. All right, walkouts. Top of the mat. Walk down in plank. And walk back up. You can stay bent over. Stretch those hamstrings out. Let's just do two more, even if you're not to 10, it's fine. Just do two more. One more after this. Last one. All right, shake it out a little bit. Let me just fix my frame a little bit. Okay. All right, so grab your dumbbells. Got my timer going here. I wonder if I'll put it so you guys can see that. Um, okay, like I said, four pairs of two exercises. I'm not gonna go through each exercise before. I know I used to do that with these lives. It just takes up a lot of time. So we're going to, I'll show you the exercise obviously before we roll into it, but we're just going to go through them again. If you guys have been following me for a while, you'll recognize all these moves by now. So they won't be so brand new and foreign, but if you're new, I will coach you through it. So no worries. Okay, so grab your dumbbells. First pair I'll show you really quick is gonna be a squat press and a pop squat. You know we like to start off with a good one. So squat press is the first one and pop squat is the second one, okay? Here we go. Remember, I don't have any music because there's copyright issues on YouTube, so play your own music. I will just listen to my voice. Okay, you guys ready for this? Squat press first, so grab your dumbbells. We're gonna start, here we go. Exercise A. All right. Here we go, squat press. Deep squat, pop up at the top. Remember, a squat press is, you use that momentum to press over your head. So, 
Your legs help pop that weight up over your head. If you're coming up and just pressing without any momentum, it's gonna feel super heavy. So you'll be able to feel the difference if you use momentum or if you don't use momentum. The weight can feel twice as heavy if you don't use momentum. Three, two, one, rest. Nice job. You have 50 second break. We're going to pop squat. Remember doing three rounds of each pair of exercises. Three. Here we go. Two, one. Exercise B. Pop down and up. The modification for a pop squat, you can step out, step out without the jumping, or you can just down up on your toes, down up on your toes, so you're still getting those calves involved without the actual jump. That's that way. Or you can combo the two, do as much pop squatting as you can, and then switch if you need to take a break. I haven't worked out, really worked out in a while. Three, two, so this is gonna be one. rest tiring for me. Grab those weights. Some of you who requested um, some demos on the app Three, two, of some of the harder one. exercises. Exercise A. Go ahead, start. So we filmed that recently, so that will go up soon. So this is one of the exercises that we demoed because we you see this one a lot in my workouts. And this one I see done improperly a lot of the time. So one main cue for, for a um, squat press is when you're at the top, make sure you don't lock out your knees and arch your back, okay? Keep your ribs tucked in so that, keep going, so that at that top, you're not Three, hanging on your hinges. Two, one, you're staying really rest. strong to your core and through your shoulder. Go ahead, take a break. Back to those pop squats. So you really wanna protect your back and stay really Three, strong two, at that top of that one, press. Exercise B. Here we go, pop down. And up. That blood should be pumping now. That body's waking up. That's how it is. How you guys doing? I can't really see if you're, I guess you wouldn't really be commenting if you're doing workout. One, rest. All right, back to those squat presses. Let me just make sure nobody's, you guys can see everything. Okay, looks like we're good. Okay, squat press, one last round. Two, one, exercise A. Here we go, squat press, go ahead, start. Sure, we deep squat and press. Really strong at the top, tuck those ribs in. Deep squat if you can. That's halfway. Pop those weights up. Good job, guys. Nice job. One last pop squat. Ooh, getting hot in here. Three, two, one. Exercise B. Here we go. Pop down, pop up. I saw somebody just say, how can this only be 10 minutes? So it says that in the description because that was like the template I have 
for old, old workouts two years ago when I was posting this. I had fixed it That's halfway. in the YouTube line that I scheduled, but since that one messed up, I had to just quickly open a new one so I didn't get to edit um, the description. So that description is wrong. So whoever said that, this is a 25 minute workout. Two, Sorry, one, it's not 10 minutes. Rest. Oh, okay. You guys get a full 30 second break. Next two exercises, B stance RDL. Okay, B stance is just a little kickstand, all your weights into one side, and we're coming down and up. And then plank pull through on the ground, tall plank, pulling across, pulling across. Two, okay? one, exercise A. All right, right leg. Here we go, B stance RDL. All of your weight is in your right leg. So, like this, okay? Your RDL, your hips go back first, your back stays flat, your weight traces your leg, okay? It should That's be halfway. so close to your leg that you can touch your leg the whole way down, the whole way up. I usually cue that because people tend to have the weight out here that will really turn on your low back muscles and really require them to support you Three, a lot in that position. Two, one. So it's probably yes. not gonna be super comfortable. So really keep the weight close to your body. Come down on the ground. Plank pull through. Oh man, I'm out of breath y'all. Two. Here we go. One. Exercise B. Tall plank. Pull the weight through, pull the weight through. This is another one that we demo, really explain. I feel like, I think it was this or maybe the bear pull through or bear row. Essentially, for this one, putting your legs further apart That's halfway. will help you stay a little bit more stable, a wider base of support. Um, and then when you pull across, Think of this diagonal sling, so if you're pressing into your right hand, press into your left foot even harder. That will help to stabilize you. Three, if you're pushing your two, left hand, press into one, your right foot. Rest. You'll, that'll help to stabilize you even more in that position. All right. B stance, cardio on the left side. Three, two, Sounds like one. the math is massive. That's true, that's true. Not 10 minute workout, this is a 25 minute workout. Okay, remember, kickstand is your right leg, your hips are going back, the weight is tracing your leg or flanking your leg if you're using two dumbbells. Just keep it nice and close to your leg. That's halfway. How far down you go is going to be dependent on your hamstring flexibility. So if you have really mobile hamstrings, you'll be able to go maybe all the way down. If your hamstrings are tight, maybe only to here. So everybody's gonna be a little bit different. Three, two, one, rest. All right, back down. I ain't pulled through. Oh, I need to get used to this talking while working out. Three, two, one. Exercise B. All right, tall plank, pull through. Now, if pulling the weight through is too hard, you can just do shoulder taps. Go to a tall plank, shoulder tap, shoulder tap, or on your knees, shoulder tap, or you can still use the weight from your knees, pull across, pull That's across. Happening. All really great options for this exercise if you're not ready for the whole tall plank pull through. Three, two, one, rest. Nice job. All right, so for this last one for the RDL, we are gonna switch halfway through. So 
about 22 seconds ish on this side, 22 ish on this side. One. Here we go. Exercise A. So we're kick standing left, going down the right. Also, at the top of this, you don't need to squeeze the butt and come forward and kind of hang on your back hinges. You could just, if you want to squeeze at the top, keep your upper body flexed. That's that will point. prevent you, switch legs. That will prevent you from doing this and really putting a lot of pressure on that low back at the top of that motion. It's not going to give you any extra booty um, activation to do that little extra at the top. Three, two, one, rest. There we go. One more plank pull through.
three, two, one, rest. Nice job. You might find that you might have to go down in weight, use something lighter for those. Again, that's the only tricky part about full body with weights is three, two, sometimes one. you can go heavier, sometimes Exercise you can go lighter. Eight. Okay, overhead lower, here we go. Exhale, lift that pelvic floor, tuck your ribs in as you go back. Another way to make this a little bit easier is you can bend your elbows. That will make that lever arm shorter and it'll make the weight feel lighter. That way. As you can see, I have to bend my knees. This one's a little bit too hard for me right now. But if you can do that, amazing. Three, two, one, rest. Nice job. All right, one more of each. Guys, we're on the third circuit, all right, or the third Three, uh, superset two, dumbbell. One. Or pair of Exercise A. All right, here we go. We only have one more after this. These fly by. Can you feel how hard your core needs to work during these exercises? Even when an exercise isn't labeled That's core exercise, some of these standing weighted exercises can be considered even more of a core workout than direct core exercises. Three, two, one, rest. Nice job. Okay, one more of the overhead lower. Do, 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 do. How you guys doing? Three, two, one. Exercise B. All right, here we go. Overhead, tuck those ribs in. Exhale as you lower slowly. This is an anti extension exercise, right? So you're trying to prevent your core from going like this, right? Extending, arching through your low back. So you have to. That's how to get everything in. You're preventing that extension with this exercise. Three, two, one, rest. Nice job. Okay, last pair we have. A back lunge with two pulses, so you'll hold the weights, two pulses and up, two pulses and up. We're gonna stay on one side the whole time. And then we're doing a drop split squat. So you can do this with the weight or without the weight. So it's gonna look like this. Two bounces and a drop and a hold, okay? Two, one, exercise A. Okay, first one, back lunge pulse. So we're on our right leg, back lunge, two pulse, Come up and hold. Now you don't have to hold if you don't want to. You can just two pulse and step up. That feels more stable for you. Two pulse, step up and pause. It just adds a little bit, tiny little bit extra. Honestly, I don't care either way which one you want to do. You could even just stay stationary like this. Two pulses and back up if that's even more comfortable for you. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, so this next one for you who want that extra little difficulty, keep holding your weights. If not, drop the weights. So we're gonna go one, two, drop. If you're holding Three, the weights, add two, that little bicep curl. One, exercise B. Bounce, bounce, drop, hold. Stick that. Stick that landing for just a second at the bottom. Bounce, bounce, hold, okay? If you're not holding the weights, then just bounce, bounce. Still hold, but you're just not worrying about the bicep curl. One, two. One, two. That's halfway.
Good job, guys. Three, two, one, rest. Nice job. If you guys kept those weights for that. Oh, baby. I love that one. Uh oh, my three. Mash two, lifting. All right, back one. lunge. Exercise A. We're on the left side now, back lunge. Two pulls. One, two. Hold. Or hold. One, two. So you'll see with these ones, we're really working on strength, obviously. But we're also working on control and stability, okay? So I want you guys to be really solid down here to up here. I don't want a ton of wobbling. I want a lot of control. Or if you wobble, really focus on trying to regain before you go back into it. Don't like fall back into the move because you're out of Three, control. Two, one, rest. Like that. Don't do that. Drop split squat and hold if you're holding those weights. Three, two, one. Here we go. Exercise B. Two bounce. One, two. Drop. One, two. Drop. Hold really strong and solid at the bottom. One, two. That's halfway. See? If you're wobbly, just regain it, get solid again, and then go back to it. My left side's more wobbly. Three, two, one, rest. Nice job. All right, back lunge. We're back to our right. We only have one more of each, guys. We're killing Three, it. Two. Here we go. One. Exercise We're going to switch halfway through. Pulse, pulse. Thrive. Really strong through this move. Switch legs. And on the left side. Three, two, one, rest. Guys, last one. Last exercise, we are almost done. Oh my goodness gracious, I'm sweaty. Here we go, last one, last 45 seconds. Two, one, exercise B. Okay, bounce, bounce, drop and hold. This is why it's really great doing single leg activities, especially if you don't have access to heavier weights. One, it makes the exercise more difficult, but two, if you have any Side to side and balance. That's halfway. It makes that leg really work without the help of the other side. Almost done, guys. Killing it. Stick it at the bottom. Three, two. Get one more. Your timer is complete. <laughs> nice job, guys. Oh, walk around a second, you guys killed it. So remember, do a really quick cool down. But next time, you guys gotta go to the app and do one of the cool downs there. But we'll do a quick cool down today. Nice job, guys. You killed it. That was fun. You know, once I figured it out, YouTube, this is great. Okay. So let's get a quick cool down. Let's calm down the nervous system. So let's take some deep breaths. One deep breath here in through the nose. Slow. 
out through the mat. Okay, we're gonna start on our mat. Again, we're doing really quick cool down. Just pedal it out first and down dog. Quick little pedal. Right leg out and bring it forward. And drop that back knee. Come up into half kneeling. Take a calming breath here. Squeeze that booty. Feel that stretch in that hip flexor quad. Reach over to that right side. One more big breath here. Really try to calm the system down. Sit back into that hamstring. Try to keep that back flat if you can. Come forward. Drive that. Oh, whoops, I forgot. Forgot rotation. Let's rotate left arm to the sky. Switch right arm to the sky. Now we'll walk that foot over, drop into pigeon. This warm up and cool down, a longer version, is on the app. It's my go to full body warm up cool down. Again, we just recorded a couple different options, so there will be more to choose from coming on the app. But again, this is my tried and true warm up cool down. All right, come back into pedaling up the legs. And then we'll do it on the other side, left leg up and bring it forward. Drop that back knee down, come up into half kneeling. Take a big breath here. Squeeze that butt, feel it in your hip flexor quad. Reach over that left side. Take a big breath here. Bring your hands down by your foot. Sit into that hamstring. If you're really mobile, pull that toe up. Again, try to keep that back as flat as you can. You can even roll from, go from really flex to flat. You'll be able to feel that extra stretch in that hamstring when you go to flat. Come on forward, rotate that left hand to the sky or ceiling. Feel that stretch in your back. Now on the other side. Walk that left foot over, sit down into that hands, or sorry, pigeon. Position. Let's just take two calming breaths here in through the nose. Really let that belly expand first and then your ribs. Let everything fill. Slow exhale. One more. Let your belly fill and then your chest. Slow exhale. All right, guys, thank you so much for working out with me today. And I truly apologize for the mess at the beginning. I think I have it figured out now after I made so many mistakes. Um, so hopefully this will be a little more smooth next time. Um, this will be posted. Hopefully, if I can figure that part out, um, but this will live on the, my YouTube channel, and um, I'm really excited, guys. So, um, I will edit this so that it matches appropriately what we did today, but again, these warm-ups, the cool-downs, 
videos like this one are all on the app on demand anytime you want to watch it. So go to the link in Dare to Be Active page or my page. You can try all these workouts for free for seven days. So um, check that out. And um, I will see you guys on Instagram. And yeah, thanks everybody. This is fun. Bye guys. I hope you have an amazing Saturday. This is not the last live workout. Don't worry. I will keep doing these on the YouTube channel. So I will see you guys back here. Okay. Bye guys.